Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and uh, a pretty good day. Uh, starting back on the ads, the Facebook ads for Expendables go to hell. Um, learning how to do that, I had someone else uh, do it for me, and um, I actually screwed up the the return I was getting. <laughs> I read it wrong the first time, and I thought there was a very mild return, so it's actually uh, pretty good. Then I got an amazing page of art in from an artist, and it's so funny editing in 2020 because. You don't just have to edit like storytelling and clarity, but you also have to say, hey, this drawing is going to get memed to death. Like <laughs> it's not technically, it's technically very proficient, but it's easily memeable. So let's, <laughs> you saw that uh, John Mulaney uh, Saturday Night Live sketch. He memed me. <laughs> so this is uh, Incredible Hulk 386 from the summer of 1991, a very good summer for comics and movies and just, just in general, I would say. Um, uh, <laughs> it's hard to explain, especially if you're younger, but there was not this ever pervasive feeling of dread. I cannot emphasize how much the internet in general and social media in particular has just made people miserable and unhappy and hopeless. It just, just hey, the summertime, the sun's going to be out. Oh, I'm going to go see a movie. <laughs> and it's going to be in color with air conditioning. We were so happy just for everything. Just everything was happy. Um, so uh, this was a uh, new storyline. Uh, they're introducing a, uh, you know, the old thing. If you had the opportunity to kill Hitler when he was a baby, would you do it? To which everyone uh, always says yes. And then you're like, really? Because it was actually a nuclear bomb and you just killed everyone. And he was also in a neighborhood filled with Jews. Nice going, bigot. Uh, so we start off here with this fabulous cover. Um, this is Dale Keown inking himself. He had some very good inkers, but he always looked best when he inked himself. Uh, so it was always kind of a step down when you got the interiors and they were good, but not as good as the cover. And again, this is probably, I did a video talking about how, you know, the massive amounts of dialogue probably helped push um, Jim Lee to go to Image. And uh, that's probably also what, what uh, made Dale Keown go over. You know, he's like, oh, I get complete control and I get to ink all my own stuff and I don't have to deal with the monthly grind. I got to tell you, Sabra is looking great on this picture <laughs> um this is a fantastic uh drawing of the female form uh sabra is an israeli israeli i don't know if i call her super soldier she has a regular job it's just like a regular cop and then she's i mean I'm not, i don't i only really know her from this storyline she shoots uh quills um that can paralyze you so uh we start off and there's a vision of the future there's a uh Blonde-haired white man who's going to take over and be a Nazi. I actually kind of forgot some of the particulars of the story. I just remembered that it took place in Israel. And I was like, oh, that'd be a cool, like, twist. At this time, the Hitler, like, he's like a Jewish Hitler. But no, he's just from some fake um, country called Draberg or something like that. Uh, oh, God, this is so, so 90s. You got the Bill and Ted. Then you got the pop culture reference to um, Bart Simpson. Then uh, there's a uh, Rick Jones is in this band with people that Peter David knew. He he knew Bill Moomy and he never stopped telling you that he knew Bill Moomy and other people from the convention circuit. So get little. I can sing. They do this song for some reason. I got this song stuck in my head. Um, because weirdly enough, while people talk about Jack Kirby a lot right now and have for like the last 15, 20 years, honestly, in the late 80s, or actually throughout the 80s, um, all people talked about Jack Kirby was he, you know, he was um, angry about um, credit and profits and he was trying to do something with that. I think there was a lawsuit. And then when he died, I think 1994, but he didn't really get the, the, the credit that he gets right now. So even though this is on the page, I'm going to look away and just tell me how close I get. This is, this is on the honor system that I'm not looking at. He says, 
Well, he's for the fantastic. He's for the incredible. The line that he draws is truly indelible. He's an artist. He ain't no hack who went off to war and then came back. King Jack, King Jack. Okay, so on my honor as a Marine, I, I was not looking at the page. I was looking over in the corner of the room. Tell me how close I was. Um, so then uh, one of the team uh, is has basically said, okay, so he's going to be Hitler, so he just decided to go murk him. And then uh, the Hulk is dispatched to deal with it, although he is also given the opportunity to murk him. He's like, uh, and if I can't... They want to bring him to the Citadel, their headquarters, and kind of raise him so he doesn't turn into another Hitler. Um, so he's like, uh, and if I can't bring the boy back, he says, you have free will, doctor. You must do as your conscience dictates. Um, and then he's like, uh, you know, classic thing. He says, if you could go back in time and kill Adolf Hitler as a child, thereby saving millions of lives and averting World War II, would you do it? And this intelligent Hulk says... I can't see any circumstance where I'd kill a child. Still, it's an age-old question, isn't it? I, I actually, I did a whole, um, uh, I did a, uh, I did a whole review of, of of comic from this line, but it was a really damaged comic that was like in trash shape. So I threw it away after the video, and then I actually deleted the video. But I, this is one of the great things about not only Peter David, also Anna Senti, is that they would talk about philosophical arguments without telling you what the definitive answer was they were basically said it's complicated you know it's just a thorny issue and you would see people wrestle with these um issues this is a great toy line this was just the it was so shocking to see like x-men characters done pretty darn well actually nightcrawler was my favorite um yeah, that guy was that was an awesome toy. So uh, they basically go down to Israel, and you kind of learn, you know, just kind of simple things about Israel. You got this place, I think it's called the Old City, the Old Town, the Old City. Uh, this uh, young girl's dad works for the Nesset. Um, Silver Sable, <laughs> what's her name? Sabra. Uh, she's a cop, and it was one of those things where you just kind of learned i mean some really simple stuff about other cultures but that's what you know comics was good about they even kind of teach you about haggling um although if you really want to learn about haggling you should watch the life of brian so we get this is a great bit so um you know hulk has to disguise himself and then uh sabra thinks he's um going to assassinate the kid and then she shoots her quills and while trying to talk to her it goes into his throat and hits his freaking larynx and he can't talk. So now he's just grunting and she's like, gods, he's even more massive than last time and less articulate. <laughs> then again, I'm no slouch in the strength department myself. And when was the last time the Hulk said anything quotable? Now, Peter David would go for a lot of dad jokes, puns, basically memes before we called them memes. That was actually funny. That that bit just works in every single uh, part. So at the end, um, I think we got an ensorcelled Hulk. No, was the Hulk ensorcelled? No, he's just angry. <laughs> he's just angry. And then an ensorcelled crowd going to go beat up, uh, I forget this guy's name. And uh, you can see, like, look at that. And even that one, like, you see, it's kind of like standard hatching with the inking and then you see you kind of see like the style you're going to see on what was it called the pit pit it, no it was just called pit um uh the pit was a mini series in the new, in the new universe um so anyway uh great uh great fun comic definitely recommend the incredible hulk number 386 so uh thanks uh uh <laughs> i just got a response it's kind of weird when you kind of explain to an artist that they need to change something because it's memeable. <laughs> it's like, sorry, dude. It's a great drawing. You're going to get memed to death if you don't make these changes. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the GoFundMe, Patreon, and the Indiegogo. You're funding original content and an original lawsuit. Links are in the description. Speaking of lawsuit, I'm going to go send a huge check to my lawyers as well as mail off some signed prints for Iron Sights 1 and 2. That seems to be a popular um, uh, uh, a popular perk. It's just these two... Well, it'd be a lot better if I had them ready, but, you know. 
There's a picture on the, the web page. It's these nice two uh, prints, high quality prints, signed. I send them out in a nice tube that protects them, and it's been quite popular. We've uh, I, this is I just extended it. Uh, it was first 50 sold, and then I did 20, and then those 20 sold, so I opened up another uh, uh, 30. So uh, go check those out. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.